yes, I did breastfeed. Um, my son, I breastfed for six months and my daughter for three. So interesting stories with both. My son, you know, your first baby and you kind of tend to really enjoy the breastfeeding and he latched on really easily. So it was a really nice experience all in all. And then my daughter, she wasn't tongue tied, but she had this thing where her tongue sort of went to the top of her mouth. So she had a harder time latching. So it was interesting. With both of my kids, I was a huge pumper and it's kind of a funny story. I would, um, with my son, our whole freezer, we lived in California at the time and our whole freezer was full of breast milk. Well, we were now in New York City when I had my daughter and our freezer was like this big. And I was literally, before I gave birth, like stressing out to my husband, like, what are we gonna do with all my breast milk? And I literally, in my head was thinking, we're gonna, he's got single friends that don't use their freezer. We're gonna push their vodka out of, uh, away, like to the side. And like, I'm just gonna like send them breast milk. I went and bought one of those boxy deep freezers that like your grandma had in her basement growing up. And I filled it with breast milk because my daughter had a hard time latching on. I pumped like a mad woman. Then I, I actually physically stopped um, pumping. And then she just had, she had milk for like a whole month. Personally, I really wanted to have my kids have breast milk for three months. That was my goal. But I gotta tell you, when you're just starting out, do week by week. It's like these, you have a baby and you think, I'm gonna breastfeed for a year. I'm gonna breastfeed for six months. I told myself, Kristen, you're gonna get, you're gonna do a week. And then I was like, I'm gonna do a month. And then you think, okay, six weeks. And then, you know, my goal each time was three months, but it's not, it doesn't always come easy. So I don't think you should beat yourself up. My daughter Kingsley, um, actually, she she never rolled over. There's this this checklist that doctors go down, and it was like check 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 check, and then does your child roll over? And she never did. She never crawled, and when she did crawl, she did this crazy crab crawl. There's no diagnosis. There's nothing wrong with my daughter. She was just physically delayed, which is it's just really interesting. And I think that's almost sometimes harder as a mom because people say, well, what's going on? Why does she need therapy? And you're kind of like, well, she you know, she just needs a little extra help. My daughter Kingsley gets physical therapy still three times a week um, through early intervention, which is an amazing program. It's interesting, a lot of people ask me this question and honestly, I keep saying the same thing. It's just that mommy instinct, you know, when you when you think that there's something wrong with your child and, you know, maybe you get a, an opinion from a doctor, get a second opinion, you know, it's like, don't just sit there and say, mm, well, Dr. So-and-so or you know, Sally down the, down the hall or my mother-in-law said it was fine. It's like, no, if you have that, that mommy instinct, that gut feeling that something's going on, whether it's like a fever that's not just you know, a common cold, maybe it's a little bit more, go, go get it checked out. You know, with Kingsley, it was like that. I had a, t a t super lax pediatrician and this person had just said to me, oh, well, what's your daughter's temperament? Oh, okay, well, she's sort of like, I was like, what's my daughter's temperament? I mean, she's chill, she's a, she's a little girl, she's four months old, hello, but not rolling over. And the doctor said, don't worry about it, we'll reevaluate at nine months old. And I'm thinking, uh, you might, but I'm not gonna wait that long. So, you know, I got a second opinion and that second doctor was like, you know, your kid needs a developmental evaluation and lo and behold, like, she's going to be fine, but let's get her some therapy and help her along a little bit. And as a mom, it's really hard and a lot of times you don't wanna hear that your child has an issue, but it's not always a bad thing. Kingsley's doing great now. She started walking um, a year ago, last September. She's still getting therapy um, and she still, she has little orthotic booties that help her posture. And so she's still wearing those too, which is, um, it, it, they're very helpful. There is no normal. I think that's what I realized through this whole process that, you know, some kids, some kids walk at nine months and some kids walk at two years and there's just really no normal. And I think that's, that's something important to realize as a mom on every spectrum. I think the one thing that I have to say that works for me with just navigating home life and family and schedules is when you are in that moment doing that thing, whether it's bath time or doing homework or you're at soccer practice, you just, you gotta give in to the soccer practice. You gotta give in to the homework because the second you start checking your email or you take a phone call or your mind kind of wanders to something else, it's like, you can't do it all. I think, I think for me being present and what I'm doing is really important. Not worrying about what's to come or what just happened. 